what's up, you guys? This is Russell here on Russell Media. Has subscribe at the top. Thumbs up the video. Leave a comment at the bottom. So quite a few things happened this past week. Drake is rumored to leave um, Young Money. Reasons for that is saying that he's broke. So what they're saying is that Drake is spending almost 80% of his paycheck that he gets to him has to go to Birdman and Lil Wayne. Stuff from endorsements to anything that he has to do from performing to performing his songs to um, to security, it's on their team, so he has to get them the money for using their security, regardless if he needs them or don't. If he's using them, he still has to pay them. So, um, they under his contract, he has to give them a lot of money. And um, some people are saying that's why the rumors are speculated to come out. So he's not broke on the normal people's terms, but as being the newest and highest latest rapper out there, He's not making as much money, rumoredly, as he should be because 80% of his paycheck, or so more than 80%, is going to Birdman Lil Wayne. Now, if he's trying to get into movies, because we all know Drake is from Degrassi. That's where he started off his career as, as an actor. So, of course, if he wants to go into movies, he's going to get that big, fat paycheck. He wants to make sure he's going to get all of that. So, by him saying he wants to move on and go to another record label, rumoredly, um... He knows he doesn't want to have them get 80% of that $505 million paycheck that he might be getting, or that million dollar paycheck he might be getting, because that's pocket change to him, like, from what he should be making. And so they're saying he wants to go to Rock Nation, but of course, he goes on stage a couple of weeks ago, and he told everyone that he's young money for life. So, who knows, maybe it's just a rumor, but if he is getting 80% out of his paycheck, if I was him, I would think second thing, guess, should I stay with Young Money, or should I, you know, move forward and not have to pay so much money out of my own, get so much money taken out of my paycheck, and give it straight to them. Rihanna released a new single this week, rather not a new single, a remix to SNM, and it's basically just a regular version with a couple of verses from Britney Spears and their voices switch on and off. I don't think it was a necessary remix, the song's not that great, even though it is like number two or number three on the charts right now. Even if it does become number one, the song's not that great of a song to stand the test of time and be that ultimate remix song. Like, you know, with um, Telephone with Beyonce and Lady Gaga, or, you know, the Lady Marmalade song, or anything else by, you know, with a bunch of females put together. It wasn't, it's not a great song, and the remix isn't even, is even worse. Britney Spears sounds kind of nasally on it, and, you know, there's a lot of stuff. It's just not a good song at all. And, um, it wasn't necessary, and the thing I hate most about remixes like this is when it's one person's voice is pre-recorded weeks ago, it's not like they're in the studio at the same time, or even if they even switch up the lyrics or anything. Everything that Rihanna does is the same exact thing as the regular song. They just took one verse from out of her part and put Britney Spears' voice there instead, like the Rihanna, Chris Brown, Cinderella, Umbrella song. It was like, this is the original song, but Chris Brown has added two cents to it. Is nothing different from Rihanna's actual version. I hate when re people do remixes like that. Almost seems as though like there's no connection or there's no unity between them. It's almost like there's two separate things. But anyways, Britney Spears also released her latest video, or rather the director's cut of Till the World Ends, and it's just dancing. And it's what we expected. It was a high energy dancing. It's the same as like dance routine as she has done in the past in this recent, you know, era of music of hers. And her choreographer, Brian, um, was on his Twitter page and he tweeted that he's not here to make uh, hair flips and choreography. He's here to make routines for dancers. And he's upset that a routine, I guess, that he made for her is in the video. And a lot of people are upset with him saying that he's not doing a good job making choreography. It's not his fault if Britney Spears isn't putting 100% into his, you know, to her craft and to her um, art, her, into a choreography. He can't fault the guy for doing what he could do best for her, because he can't do, make her perform any better than what she's actually doing herself. And, she's not trying to do any, to do any better. I mean, I want to try harder if my last concert, which was a circus one, did so much more money than any of her other concerts when she put 200% out, when she only did 50% out, threw 50% of her energy out there, she got more success, so to her, probably her brain is like, why should I tire myself on hurt my feet in these heels 
when I could just walk around the stage and, you know, not do much and still get paid the same bit better reward for it. Never know. And, um, Beyonce also had a last sub leaked out this week. And, um, it was for a new single for Girl that's not out yet. But, it's something totally different than what we expected from our typical Beyonce song. It has a lot of, um, of the, it's not techno, it's not the same sound that we hear a lot of people doing right now. So I'm happy about that. It's a very female empowerment song. It's, the video is supposed to have about 200 dancers in it. And it's supposed to have very few men in it, except for a couple of African dancers. It's supposed to have like a nice, you know, African heritage vibe to it. And it's about her being the rule of the world and saying that we run this, saying that the females run this, you know, run the country. And it's a typical sort of Beyonce empowerment song, and yet it's mixed with a uh, dip low kind of flow with it. I'm kind of, I'm kind of disappointed in the fact that he recycled a already used uh, beat that he did for another song. And for it to be, you know, her first single, he should have gave her something totally different. A lot of people complain about a lot of other artists using similar beats, and I feel the same with this. And, um, but I mean, you can't fault her for what he did for her, for not being a creative producer and giving her something brand new. He gave her something that's sort of recycled. But, you know, it's something totally different. You know, there was choreography leaked on the internet of what the dance routine is supposedly supposed to be of. And a lot of pictures of her in different costumes and outfits and holding a, with a crown on, a giant crown, and holding a um, stick, or I can't think of what you'll call it, but not a trident, but, you know, something sort of similar like that. And, you know, something totally different from what we've seen of her in the past. So hopefully this era of music for her will kick off brand new music for a lot of people to try to do. And I'm glad she's sticking to her guns and doing more of our urban flair, more R&B, S type music, pop, S music than which everyone else is doing, which is electro pop dance. And um, finally, Lady Gaga had a new song released today, Judas. Um, I believe I pronounced it right. I'm sorry, I'm not too Christian. And um, one thing I say is this: I don't understand how she's doing a album called Born This Way when I look at previous videos and pictures and you know before she was actually the Lady Gaga that she is today. That's not who she was. That's not even the artist that she was back then. You know, I watched her on Boiling Point. She had a side ponytail with a black dress. And you get it from any, you know, department store or um, Kohl's or Macy's or whatever. Or any Old Navy or Forever 21. And for her to be that kind of person back then, and for her to be the person that she is now, it's totally different. So, were you born that way or were you born this way? Because, I mean, obviously, there's a bunch of people out there who dress differently and do different stuff for years, and yet we see her, and she's not she's dressing like an average person. So is this the front, the Lady Gaga is out front, or is that just, you know, you're trying to blend in back then because you didn't want to be too weird? Also, the music direction that she was going in before, you know, being Lady Gaga was totally different. Stephanie wasn't doing that kind of stuff. Stephanie was sitting at the piano singing, you know, kind of... Nora Jonesy type songs, and she's very much like the Paul from American Idol type of artist who got voted off, which I'm so happy about because he wasn't my favorite. He wasn't a great singer, but anyways, she wasn't that kind of an artist. She was that kind of an artist, but now she's not. She's more of a electro pop dancer. When back then, she wasn't even making dance songs at all, from what I know of. And um, I don't know how I feel about this. It feels low, like what Katy Perry said last year. Is very uh, true. She's using Christianity and using the church to uh, to be um, to make to draw attention to herself, and it's based. It's very easily done if you're going to use Christianity to make people talk about you. And you know, everyone's going to talk about the video because of the fact that she's going to be having so many uh, churchly type views in it. But again. It's only just uh, be just attention seeker. She's not doing anything really creative. The song is anything brand new. Like I said before, um, Bad Romance and Paparazzi are two of my favorite songs from her. And that seems as though she lost that flair with trying to do so much at one time. And it's nothing brand new. And I'm really disappointed with the music she's coming out with right now. Even though Michael goes to number one and be sell out everywhere. 
It's only because she has so many, such a huge fan base. It's not because her craft is wrong or getting better. It seems as though it's getting cheesier. The song has like 20 words in it. It's very repetitive. It's nothing fresh or edgy about it. Besides about how she's talking about, you know, a very known, well-known Christian figure and how she's in love with him and how she'd rather be in love with him and she's confused or I don't even know what the song's about. Tell her the truth, but uh, maybe you have to listen to it more. And um, thank you guys for watching. This is Russell and Russell telling you guys think about Drake and Rihanna and Britney and Beyonce and Lady Gaga. And uh, make sure you guys post this on your walls and your, let your friends see it. And thanks you guys for watching. This is Russell and Russell. Make sure you guys subscribe at the top. Thumbs up. Leave a comment at the bottom. Peace.